from Jovet TV. I'm Dorea Masia with your news updates. Lisufi calls for prosecution and deadly forest high fight. Rajesh Sundaram reveals details of ANA7 operations. And the EFF critic Red Ants after demolishing Alex Holmes. Gauteng Education MEC Panyaza Lisufi says that he would not be lying blame following the death of a grade 8 pupil from Forest High School in southern Johannesburg on Monday. Based on reports, two other boys were wounded and rushed to the hospital. It is believed that there was a fight between two rival groups in the school which had been going on for some time. Former Gupta-owned NN7 News editor Rajay Sundaram has told the State Capture Commission of Inquiry that he regrets being part of the creation of what he calls a mafia and propaganda channel. Sundaram is expected to continue his testimony at the inquiry. So far, he's revealed the extent of former President Jacob Zuma's involvement in the formation of the station, saying Zuma not only helped expedite visa applications for Indian nationals who were recruited by the Gupta, but also attended regular editorial meetings. The city of Johannesburg is being urged to provide relief for Alexander residents, including trauma counseling after many were left without shelter. EFF Gauteng Chairperson Mandisa Mashiko on Monday addressed the community members left homeless after the Red Ants demolished over 80 houses last week. Many residents started rebuilding on Monday. Mashiko said that what the Red Ants did was illegal and unconstitutional. And now over to your traffic and weather updates. Here's a traffic update and weather updates this evening. Johannesburg on the Pretoria Main Road, a road has been closed due to construction. Traffic diverted to local routes, expect delays. Melville on the Main Road, traffic lights are not working at First Avenue. Portia Glen at the R558, roadworks causing restrictions at Doran Gop. And now with your weather, Johannesburg is at 13 degrees Celsius. Soweto is at 14 degrees Celsius and Midrand is also at 14 degrees Celsius. And that is all with your traffic and weather updates this evening. And that is it from me and the rest of the Joey TV News team. Catch your next bulletin tomorrow morning. Goodbye.